hello y'all welcome back to my channel if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe so you don't forget and um i just want to thank you guys for tuning in and if you want to know about this silver shimmer and purple look keep on watching okay to get into this look i already started off by doing my eyebrows which i will come out with the eyebrow routine or how i do my eyebrows and then i also prime my eyes with the um, tarp shape tape concealer in tan and then i set it with the um sasha buttercup setting powder so to get into this look um start off by using that color right there as my transition color I'm gonna just keep doing that because we are gonna go into some purple today. Mm, that was the um, Morphine 350 number two palette. So now we're gonna go into the the 35 N palette. Isn't this a beauty palette? Isn't this a beautiful palette? <laughs> so what I'm gonna take is this color right here kind of flow it in there you know make sure it looks all pretty and you know what we are going to do is blend man it is hot y'all like you don't even understand like i'm sweating while i do this and i don't usually sweat anyways um i'm gonna keep packing that color on there you know because we want the purple to show i am gonna go into some multiple purples but we're gonna start with that one and you know what i'm doing blending if you ever mess something up or you don't really like a color just blend it out really good so it doesn't show as good as well or if you don't really like the color so you blend it. oh so i'm gonna take this color right here and i'm gonna put that as well um where i put the last purple at basically in the same area it's a little darker it's gonna darken it up a little bit but i also am gonna take a different palette and use some purples too in a minute okay so now this is the three five B palette and I'm gonna take this color right here this one this brush <laughs> and I just put that in there make it more purple I'm so goofy y'all you don't even understand it's looking purple hey. anyways I'm gonna get a little bit more in there put some shimmer right there to make it pop feel me because we popping period okay so now i blended that out well but i'm gonna blend it a little bit more because you never can blend too much Okay, so now I'm going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Bar and I'm going to use the color right here. And this is really pigmented too. See that? Ah, it's bomb. What the heck? And it smells like chocolate too. I'm sorry, y'all. I have allergies right now, so my nose is running anyways i'm gonna take the mario Podescu. this is the rose water and i'm gonna spray this just so when i um put the brush on the color it's gonna come out on my lid quite better and my eyelids are gonna smell like chocolate hey now Ooh, ooh. 
Okay, I sprayed this again, and now I'm gonna go back into Rich Girl. And I'm gonna put it more. Y'all can see me, right? Huh, huh. I can dance with no music. Some people can't, but I can. Shoot. I mean, I don't know if I can dance. I can't dance. Who am I? Who am I fooling? Two. I can't dance. What the heck? Catch me at your local party. You feel me? <laughs> it's like no. <laughs> and if you do catch me at your local party, it's probably gonna me be me standing there looking stupid. Okay, so now that I add some shim shimmer. Huh, um, I'm gonna go back into the 35N palette and I'm gonna just darken the purple. I'm gonna go back in this brush, this brush again, and use this right here or that color right there, same color I used last time. Fun fact my favorite color is purple, just for anybody that has the same color as me. You popping, sis. You popping. Don't let nobody tell you you're not. Because you're popping. Pink is cute, too. I like pink, too. So, anybody that likes pink as well, you popping. <laughs> I'm going to go and put my eyelashes off camera. Oh, before I go put any eyelashes on, I probably should add some mascara, which is the um, Maybelline New York Falsies which you can get at your local um, CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, any drugstore that's near you. And I'm gonna just put a little mascara on. I tell you, I don't have my lashes like that. I will be right back with my eyelashes. Oh, okay, y'all, so I'm back. Um, I put my eyelashes on. Which I will be coming out with a video soon on how I apply my eyelashes. And you now I get a lot of questions what eyelashes I wear. So I will definitely be answering that soon. Um, so I started off by spraying some Mario Podesta on my face. Because like I said, it is hot. Um, now I'm going to go into my um, Julep Skin... Uh, um, not skin, Julep Cushion Complexion Foundation Stick. And if you haven't heard about Julep, look it up. It's a good brand. And I'm also going to be going into my Bobbi Brown, which I went into with my last video. If you guys haven't watched it, you better check it out. Um, also, girl, I wasn't about to use primer. Let's <laughs> go into the, um, LA Girl. Pro Prep, which this one is cute. It like kind of smooths out your skin, even though um, you don't need much of it. Do not put too much of it because, I don't know, it just makes your skin feel weird if you put too much. Anyways, I got a little bit in my hand. Get my little forehead. Look pale, of course. That's what most people say. Or they'll be like, Jayla, you look sick, or you look pale, is something wrong, you look like you're sad. No, I just don't have foundation on. I hate when people say that. Anyways, so, I'm gonna draw some, some lines. Y'all can hear me breathing, huh? Hey man, I have to breathe. Okay, I'm going to take like one pump of this. Whoop. And I'm going to take my all-time favorite foundation brush, which is the Morphine uh, M M439. Yeah, and it's a little dirty. But I'm going to take dot it. One. Okay, now we're just... What do you guys think? I'm gonna start blending, girl. Of course, you should bend me this. What if I really want my foundation like 
just the way I just applied it. Like, man, you don't even understand how many crazy looks I would get. I would get looks. And not the good looks. My forehead be talking. And yes, y'all, I do use a beauty blender sometimes, but sometimes I just, I don't know, sometimes I just don't be feeling it. I'm going to concealer, and I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan. And I'm going to just use a couple dots because that's, watch, when I try to blend it, you're going to see what I'm talking about. That. And, girl... Let me spill the tea on this concealer brush. This is the e.l.f. concealer brush. And when I tell you this is some good stuff, I am not playing. Like, purchase this. This is like, what, like $3, I think? <sighs> That's going to be a blend. And then, I want to do it on my forehead, but the way, you know, my part's set up, not happening. I'm going to do right here and I think that's it I don't want to do it on my lip because my lips sweating right now as I go wiping my lip anyway so see the way and I tell you one couple dots is enough and you see the way it's blending for three dollars you cannot go wrong I think it's three dollars but elf brushes are usually three dollars, so but check me on that. It may look white right now, but girl, we are going to fix this. And which I don't want too much right there. use my finger too to put it in a little bit more because like I said this this um concealer is really thick you don't need too much but a lot goes along or a little goes a long way I'm gonna go back to my foundation brush I'm gonna just blend out these like harsh lines you can kind of tell and now I'm gonna take Sasha Buttercup and I'm gonna set my face. Hey, and I'm going to use this brush, which I got in my set as well. Looks like the last brush I used. I'm gonna take, dab it in there. Who almost got it on my eye. Look at my nose. And now my chin. In two ways. I like to contour my nose while I'm setting my, um, setting my concealer. So I will be taking this brush right here, which I got in a set as well. And I'll be using my contour, this by NYX. It's a matte bronzer. I really like this because it flows with my skin and it doesn't look too harsh. Dabbed it in there. Feel me? So my nose looks snatched. Now I'm about to take this brush and I'm going to use my um, MAC my MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. Oops. Okay, now I'm gonna take another brush, 
I got from my morphine set and take it and I'm gonna contour so dab it in there y'all see that contour I'm gonna take my Real Technique sponge and I'm gonna go back in with the Sasha Buttercup and clean up my contour. Um, I take the same brush, the same real techniques. Um, I believe it's like the powder brush, and I use it to sweep away. Just so I cleaned up my contour. Okay, and now I'm gonna do my favorite part, which is um, putting blush on the Becca um, blush in. Tiger really check me on that because I'm terrible at names. I'm gonna use another morphine brush. <sighs> Girl, I love putting on on blush. It just makes me look. I don't know. It just makes me look good. I mean, makeup makes you look... Actually, you look good without makeup. But, you know, I like makeup just enhances your beauty, if that makes sense. In two ways, I am going to set my foundation with the Rose Water Mario Podescu. And the only reason why I'm using this um, spray today is because it's really hot outside. And it's going to give me like a ref brush on my face and then we're gonna go in with some highlight mm, that feels so good now highlight go in with the um gold deposit in my mac and it's a real technique brush and what i do is i spray this too you feel me because we need all that highlight on us. Bridging my nose. I know y'all see that. My cheekbones. Oh yes. My lip. for it i'm gonna go in with some lip gloss because lip gloss is my thing if you doesn't know okay so now i'm gonna line my lips this is just like a lip liner which i honestly think this is a this is an eyeliner but it's whatever i don't care it's more pigmented if it's a um, eyeliner, in my opinion. Then I'm going to get some lip gloss. So I thank you guys for watching my video. If you haven't already, check out my everyday makeup routine. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Comment below um, what other things you want to see me do or any questions you have. I'm open for any and everything. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.